Hi, today we are building a Stratux. It's a little device that provides you with real-time traffic and weather data whilst you're flying. It's really handy, so stay tuned. Hi guys, it's me again. It's been a while since my last video, but here we go. It's Shelly. My dog is. My dog wants to join the video. Shelly. Huh? So the weather's uh, quite bad here in New York right now, so I was thinking. Why not make another uh, video? And this time I'm showing you how to build your own uh, Stratos device. It's called Stratox. It's like an open source version of the commercial available uh, Stratox. So it's very cheap to build. You can build it under $100. And the professional ones cost around 500 bucks. So you save quite a lot. And it helps you to see all the traffic and the weather when you're flying. And it's really easy to to build yourself. I will include a list of all the parts in the description below. And so here we go. Uh, first you go to stratox.me. I will put the link also down in the description. And then you see this website here. Just press download. And the Stratox image uh, starts to download. This will take a while depending on your internet speed and fast forward. So now the download is finished. You can open the zip. Inside you find this uh, image file. Now you need to unpack it somewhere on your hard drive where you have some space left. It's about two gigabyte uh, unpacked. And then we need another kind of software and that it's called Win32 Disk Imager. I will also put a link down in the description. Then same as before, just download it. And after you downloaded it, you just uh, execute the file and it will install on your hard drive. I already did that. And this is how it looks like. Then you need to get your um, micro SD card. Ta -da. And you need to put it in your uh, SD card reader. I have this little device here. Okay, you need to restart Win32 Disk Imager. So it finds your inserted uh, disk. Here we go, that's um, device F. So now you need to get your image file you just uh, unpacked before. Just hit this little button here. Then go to your folder where you have the file. In my case, it's here. Then check if the right drive is selected and hit right. Then hit yes. And now you wait. Takes around one to two minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. And I will do a fast forward again. And it's ready. You may get some error messages from Windows, but you can just press OK. Now you can close um, Win32 Imager. So that's all we need to do here on the PC right now. And let's go build the uh, Stratox. So in this picture, you can see all the items you need. On top, there's the battery, then the Raspberry Pi, a HRS sensor, the case. Underneath the Raspberry Pi, you find the GPS and the two radios and the antennas and some screws and some cables to connect the antennas with the radios. And on the left, you have the power cord to connect the Raspberry Pi to the battery. Uh, the radios come with this little case enclosed. So in order to use them, you need to remove the case 
that's very easy you just need a screwdriver and there's a little opening on the side just put your screwdriver in there and then you can pop off the casing very easily you will have two radios one with 978 megahertz and the other one with 1090 megahertz they should be labeled when you buy them now it's time to get the uh, raspberry pi and the sd card we just uh, created on the pc before turn the raspberry pi around and there's the opening for the sd card just put it in like this and that's it the case you see here i printed out myself on my 3d printer i will also put a link down below where i downloaded the files for this but you can also buy cases on Amazon. I also will put the link down below. This case in particular has some nice features and it shows you the frequencies for the antennas on the casing itself. So on the right side you see 1090 and on the other side you see 978. Now it's time to install the wires for the antennas. Put them through the hole. and then you use the washers and the nuts to secure the cables in place. You can tighten them with some pliers. Here you can see how it looks when it's completely installed. Now it's time to install the Raspberry Pi and the radios. Install the radios on the Raspberry Pi so that the correct cables will reach them. In my case, on the left side I installed the 1090 radio and on the right side I installed the 978 radio. If you also bought the AHRS sensor, it's time to install them now. Just uh, turn them upside down and install it on the pins on the Raspberry Pi. Put everything into the case and then install the cables to the radios. After you install the radios, you can now plug in the GPS sensor. We are almost done. Now we only need to screw down the Raspberry Pi to the casing. and then close the casing and screw down the lid. Now we need to screw down the antennas. Each antenna is for one frequency, so it's printed on the antenna itself. And then we just need to 
uh, screw the you just need to screw the correct antenna to the correct port you can bend the antenna for a better reception attach some velcro pads to the casing and also on the battery so it's easy to stick both together with this battery you can run the stratox for around eight to nine hours attach the battery Now we need to connect the Raspberry Pi or the Stratox now to the battery. On the side you have the little port. Just insert the cable there. And the other part goes into the battery. And now you see the LEDs lighting up. When the red and the green LED not blinking anymore, the Stratox is booted up. This takes around 30 seconds to one minute. If you want, you can attach a suction cup so you can attach it to your uh, airplane window. Now it's time to get your iPad. Go to settings, to Wi-Fi settings, and then connect to the Stratox Wi-Fi. Then go to your browser and type in 192.168.10.1 and press enter. Then you are in the Stratox menu. Don't need to go there every time, but for the first time you need to correct some settings. Be sure everything is set to on, like here the GPS was off. Right now we are indoors so there's no GPS and also no traffic because we are not in the air. And if you want you can put on tail numbers, squad code and the distance. There's also no weather right now because we are not connected to any tower. Now it's time to open up for flight. Then go to more and devices. Your Stratox should be visible here. As you can see, because we are right now on the ground, there's no GPS and also we don't have any towers which provide us weather information. And that's all. I hope this video motivated you to build your own Stratox device. It's a real handy tool and makes your flying much, much safer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.